Hello people, I'm the Okonk, but Gamer, and the new Spider-Man game was revealed at E3. We got hardly any details, just this trailer, which you're seeing in the background. So, what we do know about it is, obviously from the looks of it, it's going to be open world, because you can't make a Spider-Man game nowadays that is not going to be open world. So, open world New York is made by Insomniac Games, so I'm excited to see what they can do with it. We got a new suit, as you can see right there in the trailer. The new suit... I'm not the biggest fan of right here though. This is what I think is awesome. You see that going inside the buildings? That looks really cool. Sort of like what they've done with Assassin's Creed, you know, and like I think they introduced in Assassin's Creed 3 when you can just like parkour through buildings, like just through random people's places. Um, so yeah, uh, this looks pretty cool, like being able to run through people's buildings and everything. I just, I think that looked pretty cool in like adding to the open world. I'm going to be saying pretty cool a lot because this trailer. I really liked it. I really dug it. It uh, it looks awesome. Uh, I'm excited about to see more about this game. But the suit, I just don't like the white S. Everything else about the suit's okay, but that white, uh, not white S, that white spider is what I meant to say. That white spider, not a big fan of it. I just... I don't like the way it looks. I think it kind of throws the costume off a bit. But anyways, we got some other uh, details about it. Well, one other pretty much, and that's the fact that it's going to be PS4 exclusive, which really sucks. They didn't say it was timed exclusive or anything. I wish it was, but they have not said that yet. They just said that it is exclusive. Insomniac Games said on their Twitter that it is exclusively on PS4. So that sucks for anyone on PC or Xbox One. So, yeah, uh, I'm on PC, so... And that's what really sucks for me, especially because Injustice 2 has not been announced for PC yet, and that's what I was really excited for. Now a new Spider-Man game comes out, and I'm excited for this, but it's not announced for PC, so I was like, well, that really sucks, because I just, I really want uh, another superhero game. But it's not that big of a deal, because it's not, like, the hugest thing in the world. Uh, this game does look pretty cool, though. I'm excited. I hope it's good, because it does look like a lot of fun, just as long as they can nail the core experience, just core gameplay is all they need to nail, and that's the thing, a Spider-Man game, to me, is one of the easier superhero games to make, I know, I'm not saying it's any easy task, making any superhero game is not easy, but if you look at the other heroes, it'd be a lot harder to make this hero or that hero's game, to where Spider-Man, it's more of a simple concept for making a game, so I think that if they can just, you know, nail the core gameplay, then people will like it and enjoy it, because this is what we, all we've wanted, is just a fun open world Spider-Man game, the Amazing Spider-Man games were not that, they tried to copy the art games and did it terribly if this can be its own thing and just nail the core gameplay i'm excited it looks like a ton of fun so yeah please let me know in the comments below what do you guys think of this are you going to be getting it are you pissed that's ps4 exclusive do you not care because it, it's kind of weird considering the fact that ps4 is constantly slaughtering the xbox one in sales so why would they need to make this exclusive it's not like oh no we're getting killed in sales we need to make this ps4 exclusive so that way we can get our sales brought up it's it's not being killed in sales it's destroying the xbox one in sales right now why would it need to you know <laughs> to uh to sell like obviously you always want to sell more ps4s but when you could be selling tons of more copies if it were on PC and Xbox One, because they're missing they're missing out on a huge fan base. Tons of people love Spider Man, but not a whole lot of people are going to buy a PS4 purely because hey, it's got Spider Man. Especially if the game's not good, you're banking a lot on that. We don't even know if this game's going to be good. If it's not good, then Sony's screwed because it's an exclusive that will not sell well if it's not good. To where if it was on everything, it could still sell decently. But anyways, that's just my thoughts on it. Please let me know your thoughts on all of this in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one.